Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be reviewing something that Bethesda added in the Atomic Shop for players. Um, <laughs> let's just say it's kind of odd, but at the same time, pretty cool. As you can see here, we're able to purchase a spaceship for our base. Uh, this is a prefab that we're able to use. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to be just checking it all out. I'm going to be actually getting the bundle, which comes with a bunch of different alien stuff. But yeah, as you can see, there's a spaceship that we can purchase now in the game. This is right now for a limited time. You're able to purchase this in game uh, for the next 20 days. I think it, of course, will eventually come back around in the atomic shop, hopefully cheaper. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the prefab is worth 800 atom points and here's what it looks like if you just want to purchase it separately from the bundle but i'm going to be purchasing the bundle and just showcasing everything that you can purchase with this alien bundle this is really interesting i gotta say i did not expect bethesda to add us a spaceship base but then again there has been a lot of players that have built spaceships for their bases me being one of them so i, I guess it Kind of makes sense. There has been a lot of the community that has made spaceships for their Fallout 76 base. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. The more likes that this video gets, the more we'll get it passed around to other players that may find this interesting to purchase in the game. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. And uh, something kind of interesting as well that I just wanted to touch base on before I do actually purchase this and showcase it as you can see the first picture shows the spaceship in like a nuclear zone pretty interesting i may make a separate video just nuking this base to see what happens but for now i'm just going to be reviewing this bundle and everything that comes in it there is quite a bit but yeah let's go ahead and get into this all right purchased it <laughs> this is interesting let's go ahead and jump into a game Okay, here we are, in game. Let's go ahead and check it out. I wanna check out the prefab first, and then I'll get into the other goodies. Okay, so it sinks into the ground, that's good to know. Bada bing, bada boom. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is epic. I can see Bethesda's paying attention to the community. Like, as most of you know, there's been a lot of players that have built spaceships. I know this is something the community is going to love to have. Because building a spaceship is not easy. So just having a prefab of a spaceship that looks freaking awesome. I know a lot of the community is going to get this. Even though the price is steep. Let's see, does it come with a special door for down here? Yes, it does. So that's what the special door looks like. Oh, son of a biscuit. What the? Using the holy fire. Beautiful flamethrower. Got a pre pretty decent build for this flamethrower as well. I actually made a video over the build in the past. I'll have a link to it in the description. If you want to check out my holy fire build. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get more into this. Let's actually go up in the spaceship and check it out. I'm going to give my own thoughts about it. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> the little details. They are important. Dude, this staircase, though. This is an epic staircase. Been even crazier if there's like a beam that would just levitate us up into the spaceship. I mean, that may be asking for too much, though. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Can we go up top on it? Yeah. Wait, no, that's glass. Wow. That's cool. Of course, we can build up top, though, if we want. You just go into a uh, different build mode. You know, toggle the camera. And I'm sure we can put some things on top of the spaceship if we want. Yeah, we can. I'm just going to make sure. Like, a turret up here would be awesome. A turret. That's what it sounded like I said. A turret. Put this turret up here. Bam. I got a turret up there now. It's been a while. 
Put a turret there too. And a turret right there. Yeah. All right. That's cool. You know what? I'm just going to place them all around because why not? The Enclave laser turrets would look nice up here too. Because, you know, space theme, futuristic theme. And just in time for Starfield coming as well. It's nice. Good thinking, but that's the good thinking. There's my guy. Wait, my turrets aren't shooting. Oh, there they go. There they go. Are they able to hit the targets? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Nice. That's good to know. Might need to place some of them down here, too, for extra protection. But, hey, they're doing the trick. Oh, yeah. Taking out these liberators. All right. Anyways, let's carry on with the review. So, this is what it's looking like on the inside. Not a whole lot of room, but nonetheless, this is a unique looking base. Let's check out what all this bundle came with. Alright, so we got this futuristic thing. A computer array bend. Perfect. Oh. Thing spins around in it too, that's cool. Oh, main. What's this? Oh, you can switch up. And they connect. That is great to know. Man, my spaceship keeps disappearing whenever I'm tinkering with these. So that is good to know that they connect. What the? Okay. That. Not cool. I don't need support. What? How do you not got support right there, bro? Alright. What the fudge? No. Not cool. What is going on outside of my base? Holy guacamole. Chill with the attacks. Chill. Goodness. Alright. Freaking explosions and everything else going on out here. I wonder... If I go into different build mode, it'll be easier. Let me try that. So yeah, these teleported up top, not cool. Hopefully that can be something, but that's a good fix. Because this does cost a pretty penny. I'm going to be real. I'm trying to be honest with my uh, review here. and Yeah, if this is something we can't even place this inside the spaceship, what's the point of this bundle? Oh, what the heck? Maybe I gotta place it a little outside from the gate, I guess. Let's try, like... Oh, my. Okay, this is... Not cool. Not cool at all. You know, for something being... This is actually worth, like, $5 for these computers, if I remember correctly. And they don't even fit in the spaceship, so... That's not cool. Unless you put them like... What the... Won't even fit right there. Alright. I give up with that. <sighs> I don't know if any of you guys are having problems with placing things in here, but... So far with this review, I am... I was hoping to just give it a, you know, a... Like, yeah, this is epic, but uh, it's not happening right now. Maybe if I do this. Let me try this. So, put that there first. Alright. Maybe like... Yeah, like that. And then have it snap. Really? You're... Really? You can't... Why, why can't you snap? Okay, anyways, moving on. That's what the computers look like. Here's another one. This is a thin one. Can this one place back here? Okay, some of them can. That's cool. What about this? Would that be good enough? I really would just like to see this work. You know? Okay. 
Can I, like, hop on them or interact with them either? Uh, I don't know. Nope. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool, though, how that thing spins around in there. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't really fit in the spaceship. Let me just see if any craft, if the crafting has problems, too. All right, so that fits. That's good to know. What about this? Okay, so this is good to know. The crafting fits no problem, but the computers... There's some technical difficulties, as you guys saw. Just being real, I'd love to say there was no technical difficulties, but there is. <laughs> eh, who knows? That might be something Bethesda could fix. But, hey, at least we know the crafting fits in here. So, that's good to know. Anyways, carrying on here. So, yeah, there's three different styles of the computers. There's one for the bend. This is the main right here. And then there's this, the thin one. So, yeah. And here are the signs. Framed galaxy map. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, so. You can put it in here somewhere. You know. To kind of blend with your spaceship theme going on. And what else we got here? We got a small one as well. I don't like how it's going through the fence. Oh, there we go. That looks good. Yeah. Cool. So there's something else in action. Let's see. UFO crash site sign. I'll put this on the outside right here. Here's what this looks like in action. Let's get some sunlight. Boom. Yeah. It's floating a little bit right there just because of the elevation of the ground. I'll move it over here. Yeah. That, that looks good. Blends well with the prefab. You can probably just put it like right here too. Underneath somewhere, maybe. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. What the heck is this ghoul doing over here? Oh, it's a three star. Hello, buddy. Oh, wow. Ran out of ammo. Really? Just use this. <laughs> oh, that was a challenge. Okay, carrying on. Here is this. Oh my, this is really big. I exceed the workshop, but oh, I was like, wait, what? I barely placed anything. But yeah, boom. That is big. That looks cool. Kind of goes in line with, you know, how Starfield's coming out here soon. I cannot wait to play that, guys. So stoked. I know a lot of Bethesda fans are stoked to play that. Wait, what? Use Deep Space Dish. What? Okay, I didn't expect that That makes it even cooler. Could you guys imagine like if we had an alien ally? That'd be sick I wonder if Bethesda's ever thought about that. I mean we can get a ghoul ally. We got like a mothman fanatic ally and I don't know an alien ally I think would be freaking awesome or, a su or we got a super mutant ally Maul so, yeah, I mean, if Dessa added an alien ally, that'd be sick. Right around when Starfield's coming out, too. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how hard that would be for Bethesda. I think it could definitely be a possibility. I mean, we're already able to fight, you know, aliens in the game. When the limited time event comes around and whatnot. Aliens spawn in. You know what? Real quick, before I go and check out this backpack, let's see how... 
tough it is just to get an ally inside the spaceship. I hope it's not hard. I'll place them over here. Nice! Okay. Thank goodness. Didn't teleport to the top of it. Speaking of the top of it, let's delete what's up here. Oh my gosh. Besides my turrets. Anyways, now let's go check out the backpack. Alright, here it is. Enclave Radio Operator Backpack. Here's what it looks like. It doesn't really blend well with what I got on. Kind of goes through. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. If you're a fan of Enclave, this might be something you'd be interested in getting but yeah i guess that's our wrapping up this video everyone hope you all found this preview of all this enjoyable and it helped you decide on whether or not you want to get this and also maybe this video uh, made you aware that this is in the game to purchase at the moment this is going to be in the game for 20 more days so yeah if you want to get this hop on in and purchase it before it goes away i'm sure it'll eventually come back around the atomic shop but yeah this is something you can get right now at the moment but yeah i'm out of here everyone as always thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace